New at five, a customer service complaint turned violent. A former Duncan employee is now facing three felonies tonight after deputies say he followed a customer out of the restaurant and then fired shots at his car. Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young is in Wesley Chapel with the latest. The Union County Sheriff's Office says it all started with a customer at this Dunkin Donuts location complaining about their order. What could have ended there led to a dangerous chase and bullets narrowly missing a truck with three people in it. This is a case where tempers flared and one party took it way too far. An interaction between a Duncan staff member and customer quickly escalating Saturday afternoon. 18 year old Ricky Miller facing three felonies after deputies say he followed the customer who wanted a refund out of the store. The verbal altercation progressed into a road rage incident where the suspect in this case, Mr. Ricky Miller, drove alongside the victim in the case. Um, and on a two lane road, drove in oncoming traffic and fired multiple shots into the victim's vehicle while they were driving. The sheriff's office says they were quickly able to track down Miller, who was driving back towards the Duncan. When they approached his vehicle, deputies say he drove off recklessly until later crashing into a small field less than two miles away. At that point, law enforcement say Miller surrendered and was taken into custody. We don't know the exact words that were shared between the gentleman. The investigation's ongoing, surveillance footage is still being obtained. but. Uh, we don't know exactly which words were used, but obviously enough where, where he got angry enough to, to, to shoot at the victim. In a statement to Queen City News, a Duncan spokesperson said in part, we are aware of the incident that occurred at our franchise location. The franchise team member has been terminated and the franchise is fully cooperating with police in their investigation. He's a young man. Um, he made a really bad decision, a, a decision that ultimately could have ended someone else's life. There's no cup of coffee in the world worth that. Now, fortunately, no one was injured during this incident. As for Miller, deputies say as of Monday night, he is still in custody. His bond has been set to $4,000. Reporting in Wesley Chapel, Taylor Young, Queen City News.